Good morning. Good morning. I want to welcome everyone here this morning, and thank you for being here. I want to thank, thank especially Mel White and the Rainbow Peace Choir. <laughs> Not only have they come a long way to sing with us, but um, they also have brought with them Mel's music, and now we're delighted to feature your music again. I probably should have said something at the beginning about what we were singing and so forth, but it seemed to me that I have a, more of a time to say something as we got into it. Um, because you can't, ex you can't thank Mel for her music until you really experience it, and it is lovely. We enjoy singing it, and it's great. It still complements the way I think that we think and the way that we believe. So it's really great to be able to see, sing things that are true to our hearts. So thank you very, very much. Thank you. And this place is very special to us. Our choir loves it here, and we'll come back in every one of Well, thank you. Wow. All right. All right. Well, Thursday at 7 <laughs> And I want to thank especially Eric, um, who worked with the choir so hard to make sure that we were able to sing some of the music that you've written. Oscar and the choir for rehearsing so many times in order to learn the music. The choir has been rehearsing twice a week in order to try to get everything ready for Holy Week and Easter. So that's really a great dedication, and I really do appreciate it, and I know the congregation does as well. I wanted to um, invite everyone to come to the coffee hour this morning, which follows over the cottage, and there's also, for the jewelry enthusiast, there is uh, a whole jewelry sale that has been set up there. You can pick what you like, um, and then you can go and pay Irene for it. There's prices on everything. There, yes, Irene here. <laughs> we call her money bags. That's me. <laughs> you know how you know how in the James Bond they had James Bond movie they had Miss Money Penny. She's Miss Money Bags. So, the older brother. Yes, yes. You know we need something. You know. Uh, so um, we. Uh, will be accepting money through Irene this morning. There's lots of lovely jewelry. Thank you to everyone who contributed. There were many people in the congregation and some of our friends from without who contributed. And so this is one of our small fundraisers for this uh, quarter. And um, uh, there's a lot of lovely things to choose from. There's a whole dollar section, which I know many of you will be interested in, um, which is over <laughs> by the bookcases, on the bookcases. So you can take as much as you like from there. And if you want to see the really, really, really high-end jewelry, I have those pieces in my pocket. So, <laughs> um, you can see me afterwards and I'll, we'll, we'll have special showings in the kitchen. <laughs> this week we have, um, Tuesday night we'll be having our Bible class to get together. It's the last of our interviews um, by um, the bending of an arm behind my back. Um, Ray has um, said that what's good for the goose is good for the gander. I think I'm, kind of, um, I'm actually quoting him directly. So since we've interviewed other people, we've interviewed Guy Robinson, we interviewed Joanne, we interviewed Corinne. We're still recovering from that. Uh, and, we, uh, uh, and we interviewed Kathy Green. Uh, Ray said, okay, so now it's my turn, or the congregation's turn, to interview you. So I will be interviewed on Tuesday night, mm -hmm. and if you'd like to join us for that, that's soup and sandwich, which lately has become a uh, metaphor for gourmet meal, mm -hmm. and um, that will be a Tuesday at 6.30 for the soup and sandwich, and 7.30 for the interview. And it will be on video. Oh, goodness. <laughs> um, and then on Thursday night, we'll be having a service for Holy Thursday at 7.30. Good Friday, there will be a traditional three-hour service going for two hours, which is how our traditions go here, um, on uh, uh, Friday. So if you want to know what time to come on Friday for communion, I would say come closer to 1.30 than to 2.30, uh, for those of you who just like to be here for communion for the Reserve Sacrament. And then on Sunday, there is the Festival Eucharist with the Easter egg hunt. So we're hoping that, um, huh? Sunday. Somebody say something about that? Oh, Sunday. 
So, will you be able to join us again for Easter egg hunt, do you think? It'd be nice to have you here, so I'll come back for Easter egg hunt. How about you? Would you like to come back for Easter egg hunt? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Okay, so that's next Sunday um, following the service. Um, gosh, have I forgot anything? Yes, Eric. Yeah. Just, just one uh, quick note. Can we just have Mel Spire stand up a second? I just want everybody in coffee hour to know who they are and see their faces. I don't have time to introduce them, but these people travel all the way for a long, pretty long way away, 40, 50 miles, to come here and sing with us this morning. And this is their faces, so you can introduce yourself. <laughs> some of her CDs of this music and other music, if you're interested, it'll be available during coffee hour, and some songbooks. She's actually put together two songbooks for those who read music and might like to play or um, sing her songs from the music for themselves. There are going to be two songbooks available, too. And I will be tithing back to the church, so as in life, the more you take, the more it comes back to you. Woman after my own soul. <laughs> uh, I wanted to say that this church that we all love so much is going to be 150 years old. Wow. It's the oldest church in New Rochelle. We're going to have a dinner and yeah. auction in September. And we're having a bulletin. And that is, we're asking you to pick up a yellow sheet as you leave and uh, take an ad in our bulletin. And, uh, and please come to our dinner. Because Kathy put that together, and we're the oldest church building in continuous use in New Rochelle, as Kathy said. Uh, we're not the oldest congregation in New Rochelle. We were founded by Trinity Church, a little bit older, but this church itself is the oldest church in continuing use as a church in New Rochelle, so there's a lot to celebrate. And our schoolhouse uh, uh, is even older. It goes back and has uh, had a long history also. So we're going to celebrate all that together on September the 18th, Thursday night. Mark your calendars now and make plans to be with us. You'll be hearing more about the anniversary celebration in the days ahead. Yes, yes uh, to piggyback what uh, Kathy just mentioned, Journal Committee, which is one of the subcommittees to the uh, dinner, is having a meeting on the 24th, March 24th, Monday night in the office. For those who would like to be part of the Journal Committee, uh, please come. If you, if you can't make it, talk to Tammy and I. We will put you to work for, for this. The way we make money at this event really is the journal. So please help us along. At what time, Chris? 7.30. Because we try to keep the price of the dinner down so that um, everyone can come and enjoy. And then if people want to have the dinner to participate in the auction or other things like that, they certainly can. But the tickets are very, very reasonable. be $45 for the meal, that includes open bar, that includes the whole meal, music, entertainment, tax, and tip. And you get up and go home, no cleaning up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that'll be, um, I've already bought 100 tickets, just for that reason. <laughs> cleaning up. And so uh, please um, join us um, and, and put it on your calendar now so that you can join us for that event. What will be the auction? Uh, the auction will be whatever items that might come. We're going to have a silent auction and a live auction. We'll be soliciting things for that. So if you have something that you'd like to, to uh, <laughs> donate, I'll be talking to you in the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any other announcements? I don't know where I am. <laughs> uh, we're going to. Uh, not saying, um, let there be peace between us. No, am I wrong? Oh, I have to go back one more. Oh, yes, sorry. We're going to do communion first. Oh. This kind of this morning, uh, because we have, as you can see, a very full choir, is if you just come up in two lines, one line to receive the bread and one line to receive the um, the cup. Uh, to come up on this side to receive the bread, I'll be standing here, the chalices will be here, so you just come up and then just move over and then go back. That would be very, very helpful. Now we're going to have the choir come up first so that they can get back in their place uh, and be able to sing. <laughs> Thank 
break this bread to share in the body of Christ. We invite everyone to come forward to communion this morning. We believe that a person should never be able to remember a time when they were not welcome at God's table, especially young children. So we invite everyone, regardless of their denominational background, their faith, or their lack of it, to join with us in this community meal.
today staying together on page 18. O oh God of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we are still far off, you met us in your sons and brought us home. Dying in the living, you play every love, give us praise and open the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body and live in Christ through his life. We who drink Christ's cup and bring life to others. We who the Spirit lights to the light of the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us. So we and all your children shall be free, and the whole world live to praise your name. Amen. Amen. May God bless you with the restless discomfort about easy answers, half-truths, and superficial relationships, that you may seek truth boldly and live deep within your heart. May God bless you with holy anger and injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people, so that you may tirelessly work for justice, freedom, and peace among all people. May God bless you with the gift of tears to shed with those who suffer from pain, rejection, starvation, or the loss of all that they cherish, that you may reach out your hand to comfort them and transform their pain into joy. May God bless you with enough foolishness just to believe that you really can make a difference in this world, that you are able with God's grace to do what others claim cannot be done. And the blessing of God with the free and creative essence, Jesus Christ, the incarnate word, who is our brother and savior, and the Holy Spirit, our advocate and guide, be with you and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen.